Well, my name is Abhishek Joshi and uh, my nickname would be uh, Cloud7 and I actually work for ASUS India right now. Uh, actually, I only done my school right now, uh, the high school and before I was a tennis player, national level. Yeah. And eventually I got into overclocking and ASUS was like, I will hire you. I just got hired. Computers were always a passion. I was just used to be a gamer before, big time gamer. And uh, back in 2012, I think I just bought my first water cooling system. Uh, it's very difficult to get it in India, first of all. So I just got a very high end water cooling system from US and just from there I just started overclocking. Uh, basically, uh, mostly I bench with Chartul, his tool years, and recently we benched a 8.2 gigahertz uh, AMD overclock. Yeah, yeah, 8.25. If you compare today to the past, there is just more hardware which is accessible in the market now. There is better cooling solutions which are available at least in India now. Slowly the Guys like Cooler Master and all these guys, ASUS itself, like bringing more high-end high components in the country and more cooling solution is available in market. So it's more accessible to new guys as well. And more exposure is there since everything is available online now, more easily. So yeah. In terms of different countries, uh, it's just a matter of finding the high-end hardware and just getting the proper information locally. That's the biggest issue in, in India. That's why there's not a lot of overclockers. Uh, but, but we are trying to just expose it to more of the new guys. But in terms of just finding something like a LN2 port or just buying LN2, if you're talking extreme overclocking, it's, it's, it's a lot of work. You need to have some contacts. You need to do a lot of research to get these liquid nitrogen canisters and stuff. It's quite a lot of trouble, <laughs> yeah. What about temperature? Uh, it all depends on cities. Since it's a very big country, uh, the just that state to state, like the state I live in, it's Mumbai, uh, right now, uh, the humidity is always around 80 to 95 percent, and temperatures are around uh, 26 degrees to 40 degrees, depending on summer and your winter weather. Yeah. Uh, yeah. In future, I would like, uh, like just have more, just more, more overclocking uh, sort of events in the country to be done by other manufacturers. We are trying to do it ourselves, but uh, yeah, more, more exposure, more guys to come in so things can keep on happening. Because right now we only have few extreme overclockers and they are still getting old. They might get married tomorrow and after that there is no one else, so I would like to see more development in that section. It's very good. Uh, it's better to, just like I said before, like we need to get new guys in, and they just need to know how to overclock and get start from uh, basics, air and water cooling, and yeah, yeah, yeah. The hardware bot, because of hardware bot, I think overclocking is still running. It's still a matter. It's still a thing for other guys. I don't know. I think I would like to see a bit more focus on the the what do you call it the amateur side which is I guess happening now a bit a lot more but yeah more focus on that side so new guys can get in more easily so yeah, yeah my advice for the new overclockers would be to start on the forums just search through the forums post a thread saying like I am like interested about overclocking and get into overclocking just start overclocking there as soon as you get a start this is my first time in Taiwan I, and I just don't want to leave. <laughs> this is perfect. The, the city is perfect. Yeah, this is just food is good. More hardware, just anywhere I see there is just hardware shop. So it's, it's a perfect thing. Right? It's like a five year old in a candy shop. Yeah.